Donna and I am your instructor. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you how to um, create a blog with Blogger. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is sign in with your um, password um, or sign into your Google account if you've got one. Um, I'm praying that this is the right email address because if it's not, I'm in trouble. Um, okay, good. And then we we go here, la 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 la, and then I go to, <laughs> it's not showing me, hang on, blogger, there we go, home, okay, all right, so now I'm into a, um, the, the back door, okay, so this is blogger, you log in, I hope that made sense, God, I'm sorry, um, blogger allows you to make at least like 10 different blogs, um, and so, what we're going to do right now is create a new blog and hoping that this is um, helpful for you. So you're going to click on the new blog, give it a title. Um, you can call it my, you know, spectacular, give it a good name, blog, yeah. And um, so you give it a name and then under here where it says address, this is going to be the URL or the web address for your blog. Okay, so come up with something that kind of matches the name of your blog if possible. Uh, my spectacular blog. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to see. And I click on at blogspot. It's checking the available. Ah, it's not available. So then I'm just going to do something where I just make it... Um, Hey, and that one is available. So, okay, so as soon as you get the little check mark, then you're like, yay. Um, and then we just pick a, um, you know, a template of some sort, you know, whatever you like. Um, and then you just click on the create blog and dun, 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 dun. <laughs> all right. And we don't care about finding a domain name. Okay. So here we're going to create a, this is sort of like the back door, okay? And so here you're going to create a new post, okay? So we click that, and then you give your post a title. So, um, you know, catchy title here, okay? Ooh. Um, and then you just start, you know, writing out your, you know, your, your blog post, okay? Um, if you want to... Uh, make something bold, for instance, you can just highlight it and I'm sure you can highlight it and then click on the B for bold. Da -da. Okay, and then just, you know, it's, it's sort of like Word, so it's really not that complicated. Um, if you want to add a link, for instance, so say we want to link people to UTRGV, okay, and um, so we, we just type in the letters UTRGV, we highlight it, and then you click on the thing that says link, and then you're going to put the uh, URL, which is the web address for UTRGV, um, and also make sure that you open the link in a new window because you want to make sure people um, click out of your, um, off of your page, but they still can come back to it, okay, because if you don't open it in a new window, then they're going to forget about you, so make sure you do that. And then click OK, and then it makes a link. Okay, da da da. Um, if you want to add photos, you can uh, do that. You just choose your file. Um, I am going to go with my. I think maybe it's under downloads. Yeah. Okay, and then we're just going to open something. This is a photo <clears throat> that I had downloaded in my uh, in my computer today, and um, and then from here. Um, you, you just add it and then you just write like a little um, caption or cut line underneath so that way people know what it is. Um, you can add movie clips if you want to add YouTube videos or anything like that you can do that. You can change your alignment, you can make you know numbered lists if you have that kind of a blog, bullet lists. Um, you can do a pull quote if you decide to do that. A lot of you know options here okay. Um, and then you are going to um, save it, uh, and it does do a, a, an auto save, I think at least like every 30 seconds, if not minute. Uh, and then when you're ready to publish, you just press the publish button, and then you see it showing up in your um, 
a viewer and then you just hit, uh, you, you look at your post and if you want to take a, uh, take a look at it, click on view and you can see what we just created here. Okay. And um, let's double check that link. Let's see. Yes. And it goes to UTRGV. So that rocks. Um, so yeah, so that's how you do, how you create the blog. Now, the other thing that you might want, you know, you might have some interest in is um, taking a look at your stats. Okay. And like right now you're not going to see anything because, you know, you don't have much going on. Um, I also recommend that you um, post your blog uh, to your social media accounts so that way your friends and, and whatnot can go see what you are doing. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, let's look at my, my blog, which is a fairly, um, you know, I, I've got a lot of posts. And let's take a look at my stats for this one because it's, it's more interesting. Um, so I can look at, this is just kind of giving me an overview. This is just for your own stalkerness. If you are so interested, I've had 13,139 people look at my blog of all time. You can also manage tracking your own page views. So that means you don't want it to, if you don't want it to log all of the times that you come back and check on your blog and stuff like that, which is fine. But you know, if you don't want it to do that, then you click on that and make sure that it, you, you tell it not to. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's get out of that. Okay. And then um, we can also see where the um, people have been finding your blog. So I'm not really sure why someplace in the UK was finding me, but whatever. Um, and then I can look at the posts and see which one, you know, in the, in the last week, you know, was the most popular. Let's see my all time. Aha, ooh, I had 418 page views on that one. So that one's pretty cool. Um, you know, so again, I mean, it does pay to um, post your stuff to social media because if you don't, no one's going to find you. Okay. I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, miraculous. Traffic sources, that just tells you where it comes from, uh, you know, where people have referred to your site and, um, you know, tell you um, how to find you. And then the audience, which I always find very fascinating is, I just love this. It like shows me, you know, I've had people in some really interesting places look at my blog. I don't know why in the world I have 449 people in Russia looking at my blog. Weird, but anyway, um, and this is all time. Um, and you can find out the browser that's most popular, Chrome, yay. Um, it shows you, you know, that it gives you a little pie chart. So if you really want to geek out, um, then you can look at like the various operating systems. Um, if you want to change your template, um, you know, you can, you can fix like your colors and stuff like that. If you so choose again, you don't need to, but, um, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, it, it's a pretty straightforward, simple process. And, um, I'm hoping that this, um, you know, gives you uh, a little bit more insight into how to do this whole thing. And I am going to stop. Mm.